group demands the disbarment of Ebu Beagu, refers to it as a threat to the citizen of Ebu State. Convener of worried Nigerian citizens, Moses Iduka, has revealed that Ebu State is under siege, that Linus Abba Okori was apprehended by the Ebu Beagu unjustfully and unlawfully. Speaking at the protest on Save Ebu Now, held in Abuja, Moses Iduka demands the release of Linus Okori or charge him to court, claiming that Linus Okori is fast losing his sight as a result of being tortured by the Ebu Beagu. However, Eze advises the Inspector General of Police, Al Kali Baba, to disband the Ebu Beagu before the youths take over. Today, no other political party apart from that of the governor is allowed to hold uh, public processions. They can't campaign. Communities can't, cannot hold even social gatherings. In a Boeing state today, social gatherings are banned. A particular local government, non a local government, the, no church, no school activities, no football matches, because one man wants to control the levers of power in the state. In a Boeing state today, anybody that is perceived to be against the government in any form is hounded, especially with the Bubago security, arrested, abducted, tortured. Recently, uh, the senatorial candidate for Ebony South under Labour Party, right on Ebony Linus Okore, was violently abducted in broad daylight. Tortured, in fact, it took the intervention of the police when it was obvious that people were going to revolt against the government and Ebubago. The police now went to the torture chambers of Ebubago in Ebony State Old Government House in Abakliki, where they brought him out. As at today, the said line is occurring. He's still languishing in jail after being tortured. He's, he's, he's fast losing his sight. He can't see now. And he's just one of them. In fact, uh, while he was in the torture chamber of Ebubago, he met some other 20 young Ebonians, we don't even know if they are Ebonians alone. Young people there who were chained in the Bubagu chambers and nobody, their families don't even know their whereabouts. So worried Nigerian group, worried Nigerian citizens, we are calling on the security apparatus of this country, especially the IGP, Inspector General of Police. We are also calling on the Attorney General of uh, the Federation and of course our president, President Muhammad Buhari, to tell us if state police is now legal in Nigeria and if it is legal, what are the parameters for establishing state police? Is it just that anybody can just come, they don't have any uh, rules of engagement? If you go to Abakliki today in a federal highway, um, for Enugu to uh, Ogoja Federal Highway, you'll find at least 25 checkpoints mounted by a bubago on that road. That is the way it is in all the local government and all the inner streets in Abakliki. The people of Ebony State, economic activities is grounded, social activities grounded. So we are calling on public spirited Nigerians and the relevant authorities to come to the rescue of Ebony people because enough is enough. We are going into election any election that people cannot freely campaign to vote, to campaign for vote for from the citizens, for people to vote their conscience, to vote peacefully, that is not an election. This action, if not checked, is capable of truncating Nigeria's democracy. That is why we are here raising the awareness, calling everybody to know that a Boeing state currently is under siege, courtesy of forces of the government as represented by the Bubago militia. The Bubago militia has been terrorizing the land. We are no more comfortable. Our husbands, our wives, our children are no longer safe in the hand of a Bubago in a Boeing state. That's why we have come to say that the Inspector General of Police should help us to disband it. There was even a, a press release by the Inspector General of Police saying that all other security outfits that is not a legitimate security outfit recognized by the federal government in Nigeria should be disbanded, a bubago inclusive. We don't want to take laws into our hands. 
That's why we are complaining officially, so that the government and the media houses should intervene to help us address the situation. Mm -hmm.